and making fun of the other voice actors. Dur, 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 dur. The burble sound actually be a breathing water sort of gurgling sound. Wop wop. Burble. Breathing water. Breathing water. You do realize that doesn't happen. Breathing water. Alright, try. Oh, you're actually gagging. Sorry, I tend to forget about the physical limitations of your material beings. I don't know what it was, but it was just like the. Oh, you're actually gagging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm C3PO. <laughs> Human sideball relations. Uh, 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 it was Red Major for first thing. <laughs> Yes, but as I said, these attacks are routine. Why, they're as much a part of sailing you as fucking up your lines. Why, they're as much a part of sailing as the water. Ships are designed with these aggressive attacks and. Ships are designed with these aggressive and. Ships are designed with these. In... Fuck you, <laughs> Red Mage. <laughs> with, with these incessive attacks. I sold it, I did, to some elfish fellow in Elfland. To an elf in Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. The reed I built Garland out of all his go. Out of. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry. Yeah, that's right, that's in a dialogue <laughs> out of yourself, man. Regardless, the Elvish Kingdom is more than a little ice and Is a snake. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Oh, I hope they don't prance around with honeydew in front of the monthly gumdrop trees. Yeah, we're real scared of elves. That was the wrong way round completely. Yeah. Oh, they worked, though. Nah, I don't want to do it that way. Seriously, though, after the crap about targeting our own... Yeah, that was my fault. Seriously, though, after that crap about targeting our own your inventory, I'm surprised we got you. I'm surprised we got you out of your stamp boosting gear. Seriously, though, after the crap about... You're crap! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we're not wearing dresses anymore. Except for Black Mage. Now calculate the suckiness of the fact. Now calculate the suckiness of this. This is getting us nowhere. We need action. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obvious joke! How did I travel so far to arrive where it all began? How did I travel so far to own. Did I? Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> did I travel? Yes, I, did. I remember now. <laughs> okay. I'm talking to you right now, so this is fun. Um, just a sec, recording. You will hear this in the future. <laughs> no. Okay, hey, let's call that plan stupid in honor of it. <laughs> Besides BM, you don't want to speak properly. <laughs> no, I don't really know. Cats. Oh, ball, buffalo testicles. Oh, rough cats. I must admit, I am shaken to my core that such an outstanding, morally unchallenged individual could be. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Could be our bollocks. <laughs> Indeed. Why is that your solution for everything? I go with my bollocks. Like your mum! <laughs> anyway. Your mum might be easy. Then we're in agreement. When Feet walks in here, we kill him and throw off his con. There's no H in off! <laughs> What? Throw hop! <laughs> <laughs> Throw the hop on the these contractual bonds. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep <can't laughs> making the button again. But there's been a change of point. I'll still meet. No, and again, and again, and again every day. <laughs> it's in my own best interest not to be ravaged by hellish mind bending nightmares for the rest of my life. Could you? Got to die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. that. <laughs> fair enough. Well, considering that all those I do, 
all those who end, all those end who die. <laughs> well, it is hell. <laughs> well, considering that all those who to die, I'm sure that the slain. I love hell. <laughs> <laughs> My Yiddish! My Yiddish! I have a power of Yiddish. Yeah, I want some of that delicious experience I was promised. I already calculated the most efficient placement of my upcoming skill points in my head. Burp. That's where they're going. Skill points on burp! Shake caves down with it. Anyway. The lack of bodies indicates that they were either eaten whole here, or brought along. Or brought along. If you look to your left, you'll see the Paris. That's right, the Paris. Not the Eiffel Tower, the Paris. Totally what about that fake stuff? What about that fake stuff? I'm sure something will turn up. Turn up. Haha, <laughs> get it? Turn up. I have to stop watching TV and pay fucking the... <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse my friend. My arms would be down to one quarter our star. Like a quarter star. <laughs> hey! Silence! 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 I would prefer if you were quiet. Hey, did you see that reference on my bodyguard application to my extensive anti arachnid combat training? I got that the first time. Fuck you all. <laughs> oh, the dog oh, disagrees. No. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, 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 thank you, thank you, <laughs> oh, you're thank you, thanks. Okay, right. <laughs> thanks. Mind if I take care of yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I'm trying to care, so it will work out. Did I do that? No, no. The thing about calling upon true guardians is that it tends to break a leak. Just take a. Oops. Meanwhile, your mother. <laughs> Sure is! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tried to not stop. <laughs> it appears to have a little poison bar. It appears to have little poison bars on its hind legs. Also, there's a. He appears to have little poison bars on its hind legs. There's also a bottle of vodka and a ladder kept. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yes, I. With the dark elf drizzle soundly defeated in the depths of my night, 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 and the depths of Marsh, night, night, Marsh, and the depths of Marsh, the cave, 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 Marsh, cave, and the depths of Marsh. <laughs> Welcome to school, Hagen. The warriors of the light trekked back to the surface with the fabled Elven Royal Clown of Royal <laughs> The Elven Royal Clown of Royal <laughs> <laughs> He's not really the clown for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but that was awesome. <laughs> As do I. I'm what they could probably hear me yell and scream then. As do I. By the way, there was a line in between my conversation with you. I suppose you get magical with me anyway.
even though you are clearly holding some no, even though you are clearly holding no such letter. Of course, this does nothing to elevate the horrors of day to day life. Alleviate. 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 Fuck you. No, I can talk, I can talk, I'm sorry. How can I get this? Right? It's like I'm doing it. It's like I'm doing it. I'm not actually reading it. Tonight will be his last chance. Fuck. Really? Oh, man. I know. Well, I'm not. I wonder how white babies like babies. Black like babies. <laughs> 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 You say white belt, <laughs> white belt and black belt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up on so many levels. <laughs> oh. Well, we've got this thing where we can make. Oh, again, Yeah, that's what the Fang Eye Light Warrior! Man, I can't believe we made it all the way from Elfland without anything happening! Are you sure? I really don't remember much about how we got here. Come to think of it, I don't remember any of my nightmares since we left Elven Land. Me neither. And how long have we been traveling anyway? Details, details. The point is we're near Mentoya Cave, and that much closer to my father's cure. How can you tell we're close to anywhere? Is it some sort of innate elven understanding of the forest and its ways? Sort of. Uh, but it's more like a hunch. Hmm, that Matoya is one crazy witch. Yeah, that's almost how I put it. Elsewhere, I have the sneaking suspicion that I don't mind making dinner after all and will therefore abstain from meddling with the fabric of existence any further. Elsewhere at Chrono Corp's headquarters. Did you fix everything? Yeah, pretty much. I'm sure whatever I may have missed was insignificant. <laughs> Come on, fighter. Hmm, there's something in me bucket. The philosophy and art of sword chuckery. I have battled many evils in the months since Elfland. In that time, I have... What the? I knew it! Black Mage! Black Mage! You know all those pathetic dreams I've had with a spectacle talking sword telling me that I'm a chosen warrior? They're true! Yes, clearly I was a fool to doubt the word of a figment talking sword. Do you know how I know it's true? No, but I'm sure I will no matter how much I don't care. I found the ultimate guide to sword chucks in my pocket just now! It was written by an alternate version of myself, probably through some overly complicated series of indecipherable events of the temporal mechanic variety. Anyway, not only do I have the potential to achieve the other me's greatness, which is mine, but I've got a head start on it too, thanks to these notes! That's nonsense. Allow me to lend those notes to my critical eye- BEAMS! I did you a favor. See how those notes disintegrated like so many shattered dreams upon the harsh crags of reality? You don't need to prove your hopes on something so fleeting. It will only end in suffering. I can tell. Well, it's a good thing I committed the contents of those notes to memory. Did you ever notice that you park in a driveway and drive in a parkway? Aw, oh, stupid useless memory. I forget things so fast. It's a wonder I can talk and good can't do still. Uh, I quit lagging behind. I don't get that sad. My life is ruined by my dog eyes routine. All I did was speed the process and wouldn't have time to get your hopes up. Meanwhile, deep in some forest somewhere... So, are we there yet? <laughs> 
And if we were, you certainly wouldn't know, would you? You're not still mad, are you? Mad? Why would I be mad? All we had to do was walk in Elfland and then follow the Lime Warriors out. Here it is. I don't know how much later, and we're wandering around. What if I can assume it's still Elfland based solely on the fact that we haven't bumped into an ocean yet? You are still mad about us getting lost, aren't you? No, Black Belt! Why would I be upset that your pathological inability to follow so much as the most obvious of trials turned into a simple trail into the jungle crawl of no escape? I can't remember the last time we saw any such civilization, much less the warriors were supposed to be keeping an eye on. What could I be upset about? Hmm? This isn't about what happened in the castle, is it? Man, where's the fucking badger with his elven labyrinth? Oh, a crown! Oh, a balcony! Oh, a flock of elves! All hail King Elf! They can hardly see me! That balcony was up so high! And how often does a regular snow elf see the king up so close anyway? All they know is that there's a king they don't know or practically care who it is! More to the point, they don't need to know! The idea of a king is good for their economy and that's what counts! Yeah, and we both got away with our lives! True! I'm a girl! Oh my god! <laughs> Done! <laughs>
Come to think of it, I don't remember any of my nightmares since we left Elven Land. Me neither. How long have we been traveling anyway? Details, details. The point is, we're near the toys now, and that much closer to my father's job. How can you tell we're close to anywhere? Is it some sort of innate Elven understanding of the forest and its ways? Sort of. But it's more like a hunch. Huh, that one is one crazy witch. That's almost how I put it. Elsewhere! I have the sneaking suspicion that I don't mind making dinner after all and will therefore abstain from meddling with the fabric of existence any further. Elsewhere, then, for a moment, I'll that for you. Did you fix everything? Yeah, pretty much. I'll show whatever I have to do. Come on, fighter. Hmm, there's something in my pocket. The philosophy and art of sword chucking. I have battled many evils in the months since I've land. In that time, I have formulated and refined my theories of the ultimate weapon, sword chucks! The most important thing to remember about sword chucks is that they are nearly as dangerous to your opponent as they are to you. However, I knew it! Black Mage! Black Mage! You know all those prophetic dreams I've had with the spectacle talking sword telling me that I'm a chosen warrior? They're true! Yes, clearly I was a fool to doubt the word of a figment talking sword. Do you know how I know it's true? No, but I'm sure I will, no matter how much I don't care. I found the ultimate guide to sword chucks in my pocket just now. It was written by an alternate version of myself, probably through some overly complicated series of English cyberball events in the temple mechanic variety. Anyway, not only do I have the potential to achieve the other new greatness, which is mine, but I've got a head start on the truth that it's been That's nonsense, and I'm going to lend those notes like you like me! Why did you a favour? See how those notes disintegrated like so many shadows breathing on the harsh cries of reality? You don't need to rub your hopes up on some intense vision. It'll only end in suffering. I can tell! Well, it's a good thing I committed the contents of those notes to memory. Did you ever do anything like you gave me, baby, like you? Ah, stupid useless memory. I forget things so fast that the wonder I talk in good can do still. Quit lagging behind and don't give me that sad my life is ruined puppy your life with me. All I did was speed up the process so you wouldn't have time to get home. Meanwhile, deep in some forest somewhere. So, are we there yet? If we were, you certainly wouldn't like, would you? You're not still mad, are you? Mad? Why are we mad? All we have to do is wake up in that plant and follow the library down. Here it is. I don't know how much later, and we're wandering around what I can only assume is still our plant based solely on the fact we haven't got the information yet. You are still mad about us getting lost, aren't you? No, in fact, Elf. Why would I be upset if you have to go inability to follow so much of the most obvious and proud to turn the simple painting into the jungle falls now escape? I can't remember the last time I saw any sign of civilization, much less the warrior just supposed to keep an eye on. What could I be upset about, hmm? This isn't about what happened at the castle, is it? Oh, man, where's the fucking bathroom in this elven labyrinth? Ooh, a crown. Ooh, a balcony. Ooh, a throng of elves. Oh, thank you. They can hardly see me, that balcony was so high up. And how often does a regular schmo elf see some king up close anyway? All they know is that there's a king. They don't know or particularly care who it is. More to the point, they don't need to know. The idea of a king is good for their economy, and that's what counts. For that, and we gotta win with our lives. I can't wait to get rid of this bad boy. Seriously? I will be a nice person, but I'm more concerned with finding a good my father. Wow! I completely the unpublished sentiment from the 10,000 health of this story we know. Oh ha ha ha, very funny. I'll have you know that we elves are the most charitable race. It's tax deductible, see, so everybody does it. A lot. There's practically one for every taxpayer. Come to think of it, there is one for every taxpayer. And all their taxable income usually ends up in the coffers of a charity that has their own name. There's going to be some serious tax reforms when I can. Tax reform? Tax reform? Listen to yourself, Matt. You can't be an adventurer and seriously contemplate tax reform at the same time. It's rough! The universe can't accommodate the buckle-down nine to five lifestyle in the midst of all our wacky adventures and hijinks. When the two meet, it's the metaphysical equivalent of a fault line. The pressure builds to disastrous proportions until something's got to give it and may the gods have mercy on your soul when it does. I know all about this stuff. I'm a red mage. I'm the living embodiment of the balance between order and chaos. And the path of this dual lifestyle will surely cast you into ruin and insanity. Every action has a reaction. Think about the simple word. Only one not paying attention. Oh, right. There's action to the thing. It's no coincidence human being includes a conjugation of the verb to be. Ours is a reality of process. No, I think it's more about the temple. Good point, but then with a fun reality, the clan of red mages makes Hasn't this daffy witch heard of a light spell? Jeez. 
you blind? Why would you bother? Well, it's hard to appreciate interior design in the dark. Cheesy, crazy fighters. They drop you on the head and child. Often. Ooh. Power lines and paint chips. My childhood rocks. No, why? Never mind. Even your idiocy you can't impress me today. My imagination is aflame. The thoughts of me that stupid driver toy is like an exact sweet damage revenge for that stupid stinking nightmare boy. And you'll never see it coming either. Did it? Never see it coming because you're blind and dumb and ugly. Hiya! And you're passionate and you're casting your smile onto that way. You're kidding me. You never fall by my great adventure and skill. Oh, don't worry about it, Black Minions. See, when you get to fly, If you're so powerful, then how do big steel crystals and why do you need chumps like us to fetch it for you? Do not question wizards! They are quick to turn you into a toad. Again. I think she's just a this big old head whose only pleasure in life is derived from making everyone else miserable. The thing about being blind is that your other senses will pick up the slack. Yeah. That'll even be me. You mean that to me? My resent being turned into a fur without being allowed to get a voice you check against the polymorph other. Holy what? It's a frog spell, boy. The fact that you're a frog now should tip you off. I have my life first, but I want a voice you check. Do I have to do anything? No. Whatever floats you really. Ha! Your pitiful magics are no match for my superior savings! Mine. I don't care how many teammates I have to sacrifice for anything. If we can hear your internal monologue, then it is. How will you sacrifice? Is there anything you can't do? Still here. More hapless visitors. And I'm all out of doom quest. Hey guys! Well, what are you still doing, Elfland? Elfland? <laughs> You're about a thousand miles of wrong. But the ocean is never... How? I blame space-time for being so gosh darn big. I mean, there's extra dimensions according to super string theory, and that's fine, I guess. But I don't care how small they tell you they are. They add up after a while. You try walking a straight line without bumping into wave functions or neighboring realities. We do it all the time. It's called not being so stupid that it wants the universe. Universe. Now it's I hate to break you boys have my crystal or what? Meanwhile, a triumphant of evil flooded against my heroes. The way I do be seeing it is simple. It just fucking hit, wouldn't it? For the last time, Mick. No, I'm the leader of this outfit because it was my idea for us to team up. Unless it's my house. So unless you've got a kick-ass pirate ship or a secluded hell name handy, we go by my rules. But you just made that up. Me making up rules, including rules that may contradict other rules, is allowed by the rules. I see. Starting up your own dictatorship, is ye. Or religion. Bah! I should be the leader! I'm the only one here with leadership experience. Hold it. Aren't you telling me about how you sacrificed your crew and ship for a treasure you couldn't even enjoy because you left it on the ship? Be having a point. Only that your tenure as a leader is punctuated by incompetent acts of treachery. Aye, but if and I be a treacherous leader, wouldn't you rather I be bad at it? Make a compelling, if idiotic, case. It doesn't matter in a way, because I'm the leader. So there, me. <laughs> Alas. Live the dream, mate. Live the dream. Previously on 8-Bit Theater Chaos. I hate to break up with you. Do you boys have my crystal or what? Just like 
we agree? Sure! Now for the Live Warrior Tax. As per your contract, all of you owe me 115 percent of everything you own. But... Night has a cut coming up. I can smell it in his brain. Of course, it's mathematically impossible for you to pay that much. But the first bank of thieves is willing to let that slide. Four of it. But... To be determined, But... And then inflate my number. I call for it. I don't have confidence. Can we do that? Sure, it will make you feel better. But keep in mind that I get a veto. Ha! There's three of us and one of you. I think we've got that covered. All those in favour of asking stupid thieves say hi. Hi! Hi! Veto, veto, veto. Vote of no confidence is denied. What? How? I get a veto on every vote. Each of you got a vote, so I vetoed them all. Uh, I don't think that's how a veto works. Let's see what paragraph A or B has to say about that. Uh, that's not fair. This section is labeled the all purpose proof the wrong course. Now paragraph 84 A just says no it isn't. That way I've got my bases covered. Pretty smart of me, huh? Smart like an arsehole. Now that we've returned your power of sight, I was wondering if you might do us a favor. I'm listening. My father is the king of Alpha, and he's been poisoned by the Thary's Ah, That's just so darn typical of never do well. I've discovered the formula for the antidote, and I know you're the only one who can make it. And so, you want me to brew up this antidote to save your dad? Exactly. Will you, please? Sure. But a skilled witch's time is valuable. It'll cost you 1,000 gil plus a few minor taxes. Whatever it takes. It's good to see such a noble spirit. Here, I'll even give you a special do-gooder discount for being so nice. That's not necessary. Oh, but I insist! Now, just sign this invoice to confirm your order and I'll get right to work. Certainly. How can I ever pay you? Check out pages 2 and 6 of your receipt for more information on that. What? These charges are absurd. I admit, there are some who would find my prices a bit taxing. <laughs> but, as they say, he who lives by the contract gets screwed by the contract. <laughs> You're looking awfully smug for someone who just found out he isn't half the con artist he thought he was. That's because I know something you don't know. And what would that mean? If I told you, then you'd not. That's what I was sure of. Let's just say that it's a surprise flying away from you. Oh dear me. But I don't like surprises. That's a shame, because you can be assured you'll never see what's coming. I hope for the sake of your surprise that it is your day. Do not run into one of my people. There is a surprise. One more step in this case would spell metal organ infusion. Regardless, my surprise will surely outwit your puny machinations, such as his useless guy. I await the arrival and subsequent immediate determination of your surprise with great anticipation. Same here, because you really should have gotten there by now. Missing accomplices, eh? That's a sure sign of a trip organ in Persian trap. Meanwhile, elsewhere in Matoy's cave. You know I kill spell, right? So out of my league, it ain't funny. Yeah. Later that day. Wow, I can't believe the thief are out of thief. Yeah, it seems unnatural. I might like it. It must be eating him up inside. No sure he puts on a good show. Crystal Glass would reveal nothing out of sorts. But that stoic demeanor hides a man. An elf. An elf seething with internal turmoil. The pressure must be unbearable. His psyche is under enough strain to shoot diamonds out of his ears. Sounds painful. Such is the intense pressure he must endure. He is now motivated only by one cause. To return to Elfland with a cure Matoya prepared for it. But at what a cost! Fiscally and emotionally speaking, of course. Lo, the tragic irony of it all. The son has sacrificed the very tenets of his identity to save the ailing father. Be quiet or stop you quiet. Did you always say that? No way, several words are different. Yes, let us be quiet so we may observe this shadow of a shell of a wretched human elf to pity him more accurately. What tortured thoughts plague our leader? What doubts must gnaw at him like a hungry gnawing animal gnawing with hunger? Got to wake up mighty early in the morning before whatever on all my toys. I didn't think the thing was hard to deep with entire things. But that's the big advantage of dealing in real estate with desperate and
So, how are we going to get back to Alfred? The trip back is long and perilous, but I don't remember anything about it. Which is a shame, because I'd love to know how we got across the Alley Sea without a boat, or losing limbs, or valued team members. Uh, the private sector can always be found if one comes to the rescue as long as there's a cycle of dollars spent. Look, that looks like a fine establishment. You're being ironic, right? Howdy, boys. I'm Jeff, the proprietor of this death trap dealership. We've got all the latest model death traps. Though the 97 model does tend to jump the gun, as you can see. We've hmm. lost half the light worries. Okay. We must have gone to one of those places to find passengers to sit out. Yeah? Which one? That must be obvious, even to you. They wouldn't go to death after all. That's just stupid. Even for them. My thoughts exactly. Now, let's go to Agbar. We can walk across the nice little edge and follow the light worries around the map. But they do know. They're not supposed to. Well, we talked to them all the time. We made plans to go to lunch with them next week. Well, that's Italian. You know I love Italian. Meanwhile, it's just discount duck traps. But let me ask you this then. What's it going to take to get you in a duck trap today? Hmm. A spontaneous and a great dozen common sense. Perhaps you're just a pig in a I like this guy. Can we make Jeff the honorary fifth warrior of life? Have I made a sale? I seem to remember something about how the last time we visited that man, they attacked us with a single most devastating weapon known to man. You mean elf? Whatever. Flying high over the LDC at speed were an excessive fast. So, what's your point? My point? Do you know? If the past is any indication of the future, we're gonna be blown out of the sky for several thousand feet in time. Not necessarily. There's definitely an insignificant yet non zero chance that we'll merely break all our bones in the fall. Gee, that's good. Of course, we die over the course of several days while in hellish agony instead, but the experience would probably drive us mad days before the carry-on Stop talking! I wouldn't get one cup of I'm finally open by the truth. Sir! Can I ship the branches from the north? Hmm, I see. Has it been blown out of the sky? No, sir! That has a new one of the trip friends! But how convenient for them! They just happen to be flying towards Elfland, and they just happen to have a flag of truce? Sounds like an invasion fleet to me. These boring devils are going to take away our beautiful elven women. You know what he said? Wipe them off the face of the sky. Shall we go maxing? Even better. I say I didn't want to say I told you so, but I'm very petty and worthy to prove right, even if it seemed that it means my own death. Yes, fine, we're dying. I, I suggest we buckle up and brace for the impact. Everyone knows Belt Buff with a huge gap. The illusion of security, my friend. The illusion of security. But we're falling at approximately a carry the nine two times terminal velocity? That's impossible! While you fools are left your inevitable burning doom, only for a free of the rain. The same thing. May I interject an observation? If we're falling, then you can only be thrown three straight to the ground. And even if you were, it was be ejected from the craft horizontally. You'd then have to somehow survive flying through the shuttering window, which would more closely resemble the cloud of high velocity past the classical razor blades. I'll take my chart in. Well, what do you know? Bah, see, don't say kill because they hate. I'm a mere feather fool, spell away from total safety. That's more like it. I almost feel sorry for those jokes. But then I remember I hate them for no particular reason. Hmm, we're here. Huh. Timing error. I'm seeing one of these in a while. I think the last time was... Yeah. It was when we came to help land the first time. What a coincidence. I just find it. Not you. I have to say, Red Mage, that was an amazing escape. And how? I was there and I still don't believe something so ingenious could have been formulated so quickly. And it didn't kill any of us or anything. Well, I make no claims to genius. I let those who see me in action do that. If that application of a portable hull and removal while the bag of holding and an ice spell wasn't genius, then I don't know what is. You flatter me. It'd be genius if I was able to extricate us without losing those items from the flames. Haven't you become less versatile now that you are without them? The old Red Mage would have said that. But then I had an epiphany while we were roasting alive. Elephanty? Isn't that like Bucky Dum? No, my stupid, stupid friend. I merely realized that my reluctance to sacrifice spell slots or use items for the express purpose of maintaining my peak level or versatility was a vicious cycle of stagnation. One cannot truly be versatile if one cannot adapt. So true. It's a fortune cookie that changed my life. 
What should we do about me, Em? Hmm, ironically, if we had a foot of a hole and a movable rod in the bag of holding, I could get him out of there in two rounds. Now that's a shame. We could ignore it away with the ruby. You know, you think it's tight. This is a giant. It's a big difference. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Can't attack it. I've got my pointy dangerous implements and a hankering to use them. We've not had the best of luck dealing with giants. Yes, they tend to destroy us. Bah! What threat could this one possibly pose? It's only vastly superior to us in every conceivable way that could ever matter in a fight. We are mere insects to him. Perhaps you're not listening to yourself. All I know is my best friend is stuck under there. Perhaps you never listen to Black Mage either. We've got to get him out of there. I know it'd do the same for me. He might. We never said he wouldn't. Not explicitly, no. Well, okay. Not on purpose, and maybe not immediately, but there's definitely a pretty decent chance that if a giant fell on me, BM blasted into oblivion at some point for unrelated reasons. And assuming I had not been killed by the giant or its obliteration, then I could get out. To me, the saddest part is that he can leave, what he's saying. That poor stupid fool. We probably ought to get him out anyway. Yeah, it'll give White Mage something to do, so following us here without our knowledge won't be a waste of our time. Wait, White Mage and Black Belt were following us? Yeah, but rather slowly. I think it was some misguided effort to remain hidden from us. That fast, you idiot! <laughs> My arms feel like they're filled with blood and pudding! We'll worry about that bridge from the side. Right now, I'm a bit perplexed. Welcome to my world, Steve. Not that place. But does it seem strange to anyone else that the giant hasn't killed us yet? Oh, it's not strange at all when you put everything in context. It is context at which you speak. It doesn't involve grinding our organs into a planet much in pain, does it? I should certainly think that, little one. We are peaceful people by nature. War is not our blood, violence is anthem to us. I, like all giants, hail from a distant land that is called mystical in nature. So it is with an especially heavy heart that I must divulge unto you the secret torture history of my once noble people. I am not against my curses, I am not this moral cycle. I am become that which I must despise, no weapon. Oh, if only I could find some brave, hearty, and above all clever soldier somewhere hide me before the ammunition recognition team that I have taken. I could bide my time and help my fellow giants to cast off the chains of oppression. As the work of king, only I possess the qualities necessary to me. If such a group of two goodies would help me, so we giants would forever be in their debt. Our loyalty would be without doubt. Our generosity would be limitless. Our <laughs> Got him! But... <laughs> but... You killed him! You killed the only friend I ever had! Yeah, what are we to couple of light where I shake baked potatoes? Oh well, I'm sure having a super loyal army of giants would have had some minuses. Mind you, I can't think of a single one and it's all I can do not to cry! Thanks for getting that child. Wait a second, you're not dead. There's that keen elbow and intellect required. But how? No, it's quite simple. As a giant fell, I crumbled into a fetal position as per my talents, you know, like an elf. Go on. Some god must have watched over me here if I didn't help. I was right under the arch of his foot when I escaped the deck. It's crap and smell like a dog to gym slumps, but at least I'm not dead. It's a miracle! Let's not forget what kind of god you tried to protect in the end. An evil miracle is still technically a miracle. So we see. So where's fucking oh, looks stupid? I'll try to find it because I don't like it. He's avenging your death by attacking a slain giant like a hobo on a baked potato. Those I'm hungry. That'll make you think twice before succumbing to gravity, chump! Can't really talk to death. Yeah, that's like kicking them while they're down. <laughs> wow, do I feel better! And please, no medicinal herb jokes! Father, 
your royal nerdness. <laughs> Kick it while they're down. <laughs> and all was not well in the ranks of the Night Warriors. Who knew this dark day would eventually come What? You mean Thursday? They've got one of those every week as regular as Brock Lab, see? What's the big deal? I'm not going to dig by that. I'm a Yeah. I'll fight them. I, your fearless and faultless leader, must leave you. Yes! yes. Joy! <laughs> Great things that are on the ball of my life. Well, I'm the real treat having my life in I don't think I'll ever forget the intensely vile revenge that I took up every time you opened your ugly elven noise hole. And hey, you may be going, but at least we'll always have our mutual loathing for these two happy channels. Nothing can take that away from us. Uh, me? Damn it, I was making some great points. No lamentations. We shall be as a rudderless capsizing cargo ship filled with anvils and lead bars without your divine guidance. You'll catch your death of cold out there in the cold, harsh, cold world. Here's some money to buy food with. I'm going to live in the place of the richest, most ancient culture in the world is a great member of the world club. Cold and salvation aren't really into it. But, five bucks and five bucks, good. He's done nothing but steal everything we've earned. And the tell more. And you're giving him a handout? I don't want the poor guy to go hungry. God, we have a big, scary place for you without good friends like you, dear. So much for set, I can't even go into it. While I'm reeling for the inescapable debts of your stupidity, I'm forced to wonder how you could have come across five dollars at all to be subscribed to a life of crippling poverty in your bank. Oh, it was your at least thief ain't gonna get these five dollars fund you told me to hide my scab and then forget about. I can't believe we made it. Hey, you know what they say, any land you can walk away from. Hey, any landing that you're conscious enough to cast spells from? That's enough. But I was just gonna... No, really, that is enough. If I hear another word out of you, I may have to temporarily forget that word they threw. Understand? Meanwhile... Tell me, my time. How long was you actually... I'm a little over a year. My god. So much has passed me over it. Blink of an eye. An entire era has ignored me. I have become a relic. Tell me, my friend, what are the other fashions like here in the terrified future? Our brown and green still Do I look like a dog? Be honest, it's the only way I'll learn. Uh, no. Green and brown pretty much the alpha of uh, Dodged an arrow there, didn't I? Oh, they still use arrows, don't they? We haven't invented some sort of high-tech post-arrow weaponry, have we? Say, something that utilizes extremely rapid exothermic reactions like those found in our ceremonial firepower for the delivery mechanism instead of the anti-quatic elastic effect of bending wooden poles. Firepower bows? You pull your hands off its max. So, no hover horses and carts yet either, I suppose? What the hell have our scientists been doing all this time? Then we are in agreement, right? But we haven't agreed to anything yet. Shut up, I'm the new leader of the big job. We need a strong charismatic leader to take the reins and join the ragtag group of you idiots to our rubble core. Hey, I'm strong and people like me. Maybe I should be the new boss. Oh, oh no, you don't. Being boss by me. I'm not about to take orders from you. Sounds like both time to me. I vote me. I vote the fighter as well. Curse your horrible thumbs, democracy. All hail our new team captain, fighter. Whee! I'm Tony Hale! Let's show your first proclamation as leader, me, fighter. Um, I think we all know what that will entail, don't we? Stately elf castle with eldritch glow action. Every day should be a sword day. What the hell was that? Military. Oh, hell. Black and You know, Fighter and I have superior numbers. We could overthrow your demented regime easily. We can do this one of two ways. The easy way, or the excruciatingly painful death threat way. I should just fall on myself. I'm welcome to try the last of but I assure you it's a waste of effort. You are up against a knife wielding sociopath just looking for an excuse to hurt you even if you have to make one up. Surely this maniac will slaughter us all. He doesn't know we're here, does he? I think you misunderstood. Oh, I see. We're in the middle of the state yell castle. There's guards and hundreds of square miles filled with hateful xenophobes between us and this psycho. That exact. Oh, what are you worried about, RM? We're perfectly safe here. And as long as you follow my every bit of information I have mentioned, that statement will remain mostly true. 
I can't believe Sweet was the moral compass that kept us from becoming a pack of roving murderers. Yep, crazy. Well, I mean, think about it. Where are the heroes here? Good for we are doomed. No, no, no. Everyone else is doomed. The next morning... What did we do? Completely with you. Especially in that oh. I've got a new Madokan for the day. I don't cry anything especially stupid one. One unspeakable crime will we have us commit first. We will stirp up the airship slash death trap, which is our own potentially event in front of the and head back to the Lunaria. This whole concept stinks to death. Huh, and it's not too atrocious. Unless. Are we doing this so we can drop rocks on babies? No, and I'll thank you to cease with the falling lot of composition before it damages my delicate sensitivity to anything. Okay, are we gonna drop babies on rocks? Uh, well, it's a crime without victims. What about the babies? There are elves, no jury in the world. What about the elven courts? They wanted to hang us for breathing. I plan to escape capture for a full generation while we baby inside their whole species until there's no elves left to chance. You realize, of course, that elves live for hundreds and hundreds of years. I'm a 37 year old virgin for reasons. Oh, fine. We ought to repair the death trap anyway. Yes. <laughs> Previously on Ink Fit Fitter Cast. I'll find the fine, your fearless and false leader. Let's leave you. Go! Yeah. Well, joy! <laughs> Yeah, the magical residue from the spells that kept this thing relatively a lot took about a weeks. So, what are we looking at? Three, five hours tops? Well, let's see. Half the vessel is lodged in the earth, the other half is on fire. Even if I could fake the technical knowledge, I am lacking in tools of any kind. So, a whole day? Yeah, about a day sounds right. Plus or minus eternity, cause it ain't happening! Some red made you turn out to me. You must be a terrible disappointment with your whole family. Yes, but for unrelated reasons. And I hate you because I wanted a daughter. Oh, we'll give him a complex. Oh, we both know it's too late for that. Why didn't you love me, Daddy? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to talk with Fife now. Meanwhile, some distance away... Wow, White Mage, how did you ever know that that billowing tower of smoke would lead us straight to the Light Warriors? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, the billowing tower of smoke. Yeah, th that's them all over. Can I come down now, BM? No, no doctor, Hippocrates. But I'd say if you're still talking, then you're still alive. Therefore, I'm not done yet. Exactly. By the light of the order, what on earth are you doing? Fighter, get down from there now! But I was only doing what Black Mage told me to. Oh, I'm sure you are. Don't give me that. I was starving his brain of oxygen. He wouldn't have even felt death. I was doing him a favor, lady. This is your idea of a favor? Favor, function now. What? Gracious time is forced to an act of such kindness. Black Mage won't abide your pain as a death as a favor. Too much. Look, you. I. you know. I don't have to talk to you. Where's Thing? We left the screening up ass back in stupid up castle. Good riddance to bad reading. What? What are you talking about? Left him? You can't do that! Oh, yes, we can. And we did. Remarkably easy and quite pleasant. But you don't understand. There are four light warriors. No, there are three light warriors. I've heard that two by now, but you screwed that up. Get down! You sure did. You can't just kill off your fellow light warriors, Black Mage. It sure seems that way. Do you have any idea how hard I've been trying? To... No. Listen to me. Listen. Legends are very specific about this. There are four light warriors, chosen by fate to rid the world of evil and bring about a new golden age. The order of the White Mages are the keepers of the Sunday. It is our sacred charge to make sure fate's will is exercised in case of the Sunday. I will not fail my order. I will not let generations and generations of work and devotion go to waste. I will not set Ivy by while the threads of fate become frayed. You will return to Elf Castle, you will find Thief, and continue your quest. Hmm? Oh, we're done. Well. Yes, well, your point or points may or may not be excellent, but I must disagree on the basis that I'm sure it involved me doing things I'd rather not. 
You didn't hear a word I said, did you? It's not you, baby. It's your knockers. I know those rules are supposed to emphasize the chase policy, but damn, girl. Oh. Meanwhile, on the other side of the death trap. Oh yeah, this little puppy is shot. Your whole rear rotary valve fixture is going to need replacing. Don't tell me that. I gotta take out the entire upper gear assembly just to get near that thing. You better hope the retaining flanges aren't cracked. I don't see how they couldn't be after a fall like that. I mean, we're lucky to be alive. It's those new fangled crumple zones. They're hell on the vehicle, but they absorb the impact. What about the impact of me hitting the floor when I see all the work that's gotta be done? Wow. You guys are knowledgeable. Well, you don't get to be a red mage without knowing just enough about everything to be considered incredibly dangerous by most federal standards. And martial arts is more than just hitting people to death. There's also Zen and the art of airship maintenance. Because I studied airship repair back in my higher learning days, and I never heard of the stuff you guys were talking about. Okay, okay, martial arts is nothing more than the ultimate science of hurting people alive. I just wanted to look smart for once. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it, but I am, uh, I was making that stuff up in a sad attempt at nail bonding. See, my dad never- YOR! <laughs> While this is clearly well beyond our abilities, the damage is certainly too extensive. Yeah, plus the death trap is all smashed up. It's in better shape than this. Meanwhile, at Stately Oak Castle... I want to speak with you. Hold on, Dad. During my travels, I had a revelation of tax code proportions. I set up most of the night, completely rewriting our tax laws. I started by dissolving our collection agency. I'm sure that's very interesting, but this is what? And in its place, instituting the IRS. What's an IRS? IRS, Dad. It stands for International Revenue Service. Basically, the gist of it is that everyone in the world owes us taxes, and anyone who doesn't come through with money is, is subject to an audit. I love you. I'm afraid we are more urgent matters to discuss than tax regulations. We the aristocracy. What could possibly be more important than taxing millions of people who didn't have the sense to be born rich and powerful? A king and his land. It's a very old rule, son. When the king is healthy, the kingdom is bountiful. When the king is ill, the kingdom is ruined. I was absent ill for a long time. What are you? Our kingdom? No, our lands. They are rotting. That's impossible. This is Elfo. As the earth is eternal, so too are the elves. As you say, it's a very old rule. So true. We are tied to our lands. It is the price paid by our ageless race, but that bond goes both ways. When Ashdos had me poisoned, it made all of Elfland vulnerable. But you're better now. Yet the damage has been done. We may have underestimated Astos' ambitions, or perhaps he was a part of fates. In any case, his attack against me is attacking against Elfland itself. If we do not seek to repair what has been done, it will be the doom of us all. We have the wisest and most powerful sages in all the world. Surely we can stop this. I believe we can. But we'll lead the Earth all. And it can be no coincidence that you happen upon those bungalows in your quest to save me. The Light Warriors? Don't tell me you formed that talk about destiny, do you? Light workers are supposed to rekindle the power of the orbs. Our earth orb is undoubtedly damaged. It is a prince's duty to protect his kingdom. After a while, coincidences stop being coincidences. No, they don't. That's what a coincidence is. Look, the rubes over in Corneria were hiring light warriors as muscle for some local political posturing between the ruling class and the disenchanted ex-military leader, okay? I saw it as an opportunity to milk some cash out of the Cornerian coffers to help me pay for your medicine. The whole light warrior thing is a shtick. They're fools being led by a greedy charlatan. <laughs> I can think of no better group to be trusted with the power of the orbs. There's a strange sense in what you say. What must I do, Father? Fighter's Journal. Do not look, especially if you are a black mage. Being a light warrior continues to be fun. You get to meet so many interesting people and put into life or death situations. Just like a real hero. So much has happened. Thief left the group and we're all still very sad. Everyone has their own way of mourning. Black Mage says he's never been happier since we started this whole light warrior bull bleep. But I think he's only saying so to help me keep my spirits up. He is so good, always laughing when bad things happen while other people mope or scream and bleed. Black Mage is the new light warrior leader now. It makes him happy and I can tell because he keeps giggling about the new direction we'll take. 
I think he means north, because that's where Cogneria is, and he probably missed his home as much as me. We met up with White Mage and Black Bear again. This time it was at the flaming wreckage of our airship. I got to fly it like a bird. A bird inside a giant so mechanical construct forged by aeromancers, but a bird all the same. We also fell like a bird, a huge, dead, explosive bird, but still a bird. And that is what made the wreckage. I really like Black Bear. He is not as good a friend as Black Mage, who better not be reading this because they're my private journal thoughts. Black Belt is the only other person who really gets me. I think it's because we're both such concierge... or uh, kicking warriors. He promised to show me some of his nunchuck moves later, and I will adapt them into my sword chuckery style. No to fight it. Think of better style name than sword chuckery style. Okay, I better go now. Everyone is talking about the airship, but they need my technical know-how to diagnose what's wrong with it. Now is my chance to shine. Those three semesters of failing grades in trade school can't stop me now. Hmm, yes, well, my professional and esteemed opinion is say this craft is totaled. We have to fix it if we want to use it. Yeah, real introduction, Hans. How do we fix it? Oh, for that, let's see. You probably need tools, uh, technical knowledge, and more experience the better. Good reasons to go to the gap with more or more existence, which only announced makes them more significant than some total of your intellectual capacity. It's a shame, I totally lost track of what we're talking about. Sounds important. So, we're stuck here. Under ordinary circumstances, I'd say yes, but I'm here. Then you wouldn't say yes, because you'd have to be here to say it, which would then negate you being here to say it, because you're not being here is what makes it ordinary according to what you just said, even though your being here is ordinary anyway. Unless maybe you were observing an ordinary situation from afar, in which case you could easily comment upon it. Let's play the quiet game. Okay, you go back to You go on. Thank you. We can perform a hate-o-jump. Black Mage can angle his Hidoka press at our feet, such that the explosion will propel the rest of us into Cornerian airspace. What about, you know, landing? Planning too far ahead is calcifying. We'll play it by ear. The part with the exploding? Yeah, that seems unnecessarily suicidal. I should hope so. You get no XP for executing plans of daring do. I'm so winning this quiet game. How about we call that plan B? B! Oh, for the hate of God's most ancient and horrible, what are you doing here? My father and I decided the best way I could help our plan was with you guys. I've even got the next part of our quest lined up and everything. That's right! Welcome back, O Glorious Leader of a Thousand Victories! I don't think so. Being tricked with Red and being the king of our lives thanks to stupid. But he ain't talking. I'm in charge now, and nothing's gonna change that ever. I tore up all your old contracts. So get used to your new role as official bootlicker. It's gonna be a long adventure. Let me ask you a tangential philosophical question. Shoot. If a contract is torn up and several fraudulent copies have been produced in the meantime, does the Black Mage cry? He does. Before United once more. Then our work here is finished. But we didn't do anything. Oh, didn't we, White Mage? Didn't we? No. I stand by my statement. Meanwhile! So explain to me how walking cross country directly away from the airship is supposed to repair it. It's quite simple. We're going to the land of doors. They've got their grubby little malformed hands on the old earth which we need. What's this we business? Last time I checked, watching Hell Planet, everyone here has run away. I've nothing of positive effects on my life. In addition to being petty little crooks who erroneously claim ownership of the Earth Orb, the dwarves are known for their technical ingenuity. If anyone can get your undeserving heathen selves out of my homeland, it's them. And as a side note, Elfland would only be the first to be affected by the Earth Rot. All lands would soon befall the same fate. As long as Elfland goes first, I win. If I may interject. Why not? The insane battle levels are free below me. Faith, your passive-aggressive belligerence directed towards the dwarven race leads me to believe that there is some truth to the rumors of the generations of the long elf dwarf conflict. Am I correct to assume this rivalry centers on contradictory claims of ownership regarding the Earth Orb? That's one way to put it. How would you put it? Those stumpy backwards holding the ground living evolutionary throwback will rue the day they travel to the kingdom of elf. Oh. Previously on Ain't the Bitter Chaos. It's quite simple. We're going to the land of the doors. They've got their grubby little malformed hands on the old earth which we need. Elves and 
war, get along so famously, then isn't it dangerous for you to lead us into the dwarf kingdom? And more to the point, isn't it dangerous for us to appear sympathetic to him? Technically, yes, but all else know that dwarves are stupid. That, combined with my innate ability as a thief to be a master of disguise, guarantees it will be safe and unlikely forever. Hmm, disguise, eh? Why, a plan so simple couldn't possibly fail us. I think maybe I would hide his candy look in his and stupid point of shoes, but he still smells like an elf. Really such an outdoorsy odor that would immediately offend the stink out of anything. Maybe it's just the fact that we're dealing with a pound that relies entirely on the stupidity of other people instead of our own power as a genius, but I agree with Ari. I better tell them, or do I dare give up a quiet game with the vaguely defined terms for winning and no doubt so far so hard? Any objections? I prefer to objectify. <laughs> then it's settled. We're going with plan guaranteed victory. Wow, something like that we can't lose. Ever. Onward, good fellows. Oh, what tangled webs we weave when first we play the quiet game. Several days of trekking later. I'm telling you, given sufficient time to observe and analyze his opponent, Batman wins any one-on-one -on -one competition hands down. Three days of this. For the first time in my long life, I am of the opinion that the War Kingdom is too far away. Okay, I've got one. Not too good, but it's bad. Interesting choice. Doom is every bit as fanatical, analytical, and brilliant as the bad. So, fight up. We hardly get a chance to talk. Why don't we get to know each other so I don't have to hear the nerds talking while we obsessively debate incredibly lame things? Just to probe enough swords or some such like can. Never thief, but not clever enough to thwart fighter. You've got to wake up mighty early in the morning to beat me. Like at least by noon, the quiet game should be mine. To be fair, each combatant should be given his most favorable circumstances. Some sort of decayed urban environment which is equidistant for both Gotham and Lanteria then. Fighter, if you hate swords, then say nothing. Must resist temptation! Oh, I like where this conversation's going. Excellent. A Batman plans for every contingency, including impossible ones. He can be ready for anything Doom throws at him. Be that as it may, Doom is a villain. Villains are much more proactive than heroes. Heroes, by the nature, are purely reactionary forces. The villain is, in all ways, an agent of change, a catalyst. Whereas Batman would engage in this battle with relatively little thought for, we could not say the same for Doom. If Doom was to face Batman in battle, it would only be at a time in the place of Doom's choice. I agree. Thus, although both characters may be away from their respective support members, Doom would have the other hand because Batman would not be there at all unless Doom wanted him there. Doom would not want him there unless his victory were guaranteed a priori. But therein lies the fatal flaw in Doom's plan. Batman never gives up. He cannot be broken. I'll give you that because I'm feeling generous and because I know my next one will defeat you. Show me a proof of some intent. I fear not your rebuttal. Do go on. Let us assume that Batman wins. Doom's machinations are such that even if Batman manages to be triumphant, his victory will only come about in a way that will somehow lower Doom's overall witness schemes. Advantage Doom. Yes, yeah, sniveling wizard of the crimes of power, so it should always be for Doom. You know, when he goes to the border territory. Yeah, heading into the border he will do that. I mean, you're looking awfully elfish. Oh, that. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any, but I'll need some help. Yeah, well, I'll see if I can scare up someone who gives up shit. Hey! Hey! Don't go there! Oh, wait. It's on a... It's a cow! Done. That's a pretty good disguise. Damn, it has to. Well, are we going or what? Why? Just... Just why? What? I thought we were disguising ourselves. Is that the same dress for us? There it is. What's it to you, Dad? This is why the dysfunctional hero trend needs to get over itself. You can't ignore me forever! I have feelings! I can not be real. Meanwhile, back in Corneria... Dad, your approval rating is slightly lower than a hole in the head. Oh, I'm sure they're exaggerating like the infinitely stupid morons they are. Well, the poll only had two choices. One, be ruled over by King Steve forever. Two, get a sword through your head. We lost 52% of the participants. Tough, but fair. Look, Dad, you got a lot of sympathy out of that. My precious daughter's been kidnapped again, shtick. But that was months ago, and your subsequent Rape of the Earth campaign did not go over well with... Uh, anyone. Oh, silly, silly, ignorant Sarah. 
We're royalty. We heed not approval ratings. A disgruntled, disenchanted, and disenfranchised populace is, if anything, a sign of our success as rulers. It is much more difficult to overthrow a king who is loved than one who is loathed. You may have a point, despite your being female. Crazy how that works out, ain't it? What we need is some crazy scheme to artificially inflate my standing in the public eye so that I can get away with even more abilities. Or we could start using our position responsibly, consolidate our financial, cultural, and military power until we are poised to take over the world with peace and stability instead of fear, help usher in a new era of peace, etc. Something like an unsolicited attack on Cornelia itself. You're not listening to me, are you? I'm listening to what now? Alright, there's some dwarven bodyguards ahead. Everyone, I know. Halt! We're dwarven border guys! We got dwarven borders! Yeah, thanks, I think they're all right. Our orders are simple. That must be a relief to you. We're to kill any elves on sight without question. Which is fairly redundant since any dwarf would do that anyway. But paycheck, paycheck. No argument here. So, any of you guys elves? Nope. Except him. Gah? Gah! Time for phase two of my master in the quick plan. Now we have to do is repeat that every time we come across a dwarf. How many would that be? Well, according to the latest elf intelligence, approximately 12 million. I don't like this plan. Oh, hush, red nature. That doesn't stop it from hurting. I admit, this plan never failed. It doesn't. That would be it. Although slaughtering all the dwarves we need would certainly get the job done, I've got something simpler and more practical in mind. Wow, that sounds even crazier out loud than it did in my head. Anyway, we can get through this with a lot less bloodshed. Thank you. If I just cast an illusion spell on us, so we all look like dwarves. Okay, but where in this plan of yours do we commit genocide against the dwarven nation? Um, later? Ah, after we become the earth. Glory of our plan to cure the earth rock and consume the world of points. Yeah, sure. After that. Duplicity? Genocide? This is the kind of plan I can get behind. I think the magic already done it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, no one cares. Here we go! Meanwhile, in the Temple of Fiends... Stop chasing me! I'm following orders from the king himself! Ditto. And then inside... Hmm, gentlemen. Evil is a thought. And here I be thinking it more of a claw. I'm not sure I know where to begin the right I'm a dark prince. I don't know who is. Main question, Oran. Are you naturally this confident? Because I'm part of an accident before you, like getting hit by lightning while messing with experimental spell commands to make them If you spend more time analyzing magical fields instead of using hateful words, you realize my disguise spell was a success. What a clever ruse to compare it to. None will suspect the light warriors are, in fact, the light warriors. What did I just say? Oh, I'm just too busy being hateful to attention. I'll cast an illusion over us, so we'd appear dwarven, but we see our true self. Why didn't you say so? Sheesh, something like that. We must maintain composure. Must not lash out. Father would not approve. See, a foot is a word meaning underway, while a foot is what's on the end of your leg. Get it? Yar, but if evil do be a foot, that do be a ruin in mistake. Evil not to be a claw like the vice says I. Which is why I go by a parrot name, the Claw. Your name is Big. Aye, but in certain circles, they do be calling me the Claw. On account of the gruesome claw deformity of my hand that was cut off in deadly battle. You have two regular hands. I can see them. The Claw! I submit that you're stupid and wrong, oh. Moran. Big surprise. If your illusion spell allows us to see our true selves as a side effect of duping the rest of the world into thinking they belong, then why do we all look like our ordinary selves? Everyone knows that visions of one's true self are supposed to be trippy when they're hidden truths about what's in the nature. Maybe we are who we are. You just blew my mind. Thus, some burdened by the layers of deceit and the masks of society, we are not bound by the fears that plague everyone. We may therefore embrace the near tune to us. That sounds like the ingredients of great heroes like what we are supposed to be. I read the only one that's so uncomfortable that he really thinks he is. And that has less to do with moral strength than it does with the 